So looking just at your scales, um, so C major scale, that's coming together. You just need to watch, um, I think it's turning that fourth finger, it's turning the thumb, isn't it, um, after the third finger on the way down. So I'll just go up the scale first. Thumbs on the C, four over in the left hand. Okay, so be careful when you come down. The first turn after the third finger, on the left hand, then the third finger, the right hand. Now the thumbs together on the C. Four comes over in the right hand, but very soon after, you turn the left hand after the third finger there, and that's the one you have to watch for. So just keep doing it slowly, following the fingering. Now A major is a new scale this week, and so we've got C sharp, F sharp. Oof. My piano is making some weird noises. So C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp, okay? No different fingering here, it's your standard scale fingering. So I'll do one hand at a time. A, B, C sharp, thumb. Here's the two black notes. Then turn the thumb to the key note, A. I might go off screen. C sharp, two black keys and finish on A, then we're coming back down again. Third finger to C sharp. Fourth finger to the G sharp. And third finger to the C sharp. Left hand, start one octave away. All five fingers, including the C sharp. Then three fingers, including the two black keys, and then your key note. Now turn the four to start the second octave, third finger on the C sharp, and last three fingers with the two black keys and the A. Now back down again, turn there. Now make sure you put the fourth finger first on the B before you turn your thumb, because the thumb must always be on your key note, which is A in this case. Two black keys, thumb, remember the C sharp to finish. So just keep that new scale A major hands separately. Then the new arpeggio. So we've got C major arpeggio, all right? It uses the same first three notes as you used in your broken chord, which we're not going to continue with now, all right? But instead of having the, the hand quite close together, you're now really spreading the hand out. So the fingering is one, then two on E, then three on G. Then you swing under with the thumb, to the C. Okay, just watch that again. So thumb, two on E, three on G, turn the thumb under to C. Bring the hand round and use that same two on E, three on G, and now you just use the fifth finger at the top. So I'm going to do all of that going up the arpeggio, ascending, turn under, C, two on E, three on G, and five on C. Then I'm coming back down. So if you keep your third finger where it was, you should be able to then go back to it. Second finger on E, thumb on C. Now this time the hand's swinging over and I've got to take my third finger to G. A little tip here, if you notice, you're missing two white keys out between those two notes. So that's one thing you can look for. As you come over, miss two white notes and it should bring you to your G. Second finger to E, thumb to C. So let's just go from the top and bring that down again. So I've got my three on G and my five on C. Five, three, two on E, thumb on C. Swing over, miss two white notes out. Take your third finger to G, E and C. Left hand starts an octave lower. Okay, now the left hand fingering is more difficult. There's no third finger anywhere in this one, all right? And the tricky one is the two and four fingers, all right? Try to keep them quite close together, all right? Don't let them spread out because they're only one key between them, all right? And that's um, where we can go wrong a little bit. So it's five to start, four on E, two on G, and the thumb on C. Then you're swinging over with the fourth finger to E. Now this is where you need to be careful not to let the other finger spread out like that. 
All right, keep it close to the fourth finger so it goes to G and then your thumb goes to C at the top. So let's just watch that going up the arpeggio again. Five, four, two, one. Swing the four over, but keep the hand neatly together. Two on G, thumb on C. And again, if you keep your second finger where it is, you can go back to it more easily. Fourth finger to E, so don't spread the fingers apart, keep them close together. Swing the thumb under to C. Now, like the right hand, this is where you miss two white notes out as you bring your second finger over. Miss two white notes and it'll take you to the G. It's just helpful to know that. And then again, don't spread the fingers apart. Keep that four and two close together. So the four goes to E and you finish on your five. So I'm gonna start from the top of the arpeggio with my second finger on G and my thumb on C. So C, G, fourth finger to E, swing under to the C, take the second finger over, miss out two white keys, and you come to the G, fourth finger on E, and fifth finger on C.